<laughs> Hello one and all, this is so for Lordy. James Bullock, once again, with another video game first impressions. This time around, Returnal, exclusively for the PlayStation 5. Returnal is a sci-fi third person shooter where you play as Selene as she crash lands on an alien planet in the quest of searching the source of a particular radio frequency or signal that could unveil the truth behind this planet's mysterious atmosphere and general essence. It is through the searching of the various areas where you pick up these audio logs. So then the question starts to come up as she collects these logs that are actually voiced and recorded by Celine herself, is how is she able to record logs on a planet that she just crashed on. And that is the root of what Returnal is all about. Not just the narrative and trying to find out the mysterious nature of this planet, but also the fact that Returnal is a roguelike game that for gamers that don't know, means that you're playing through the various areas and stages in a quest to get as far as you can in the game without dying. Because if you die, and more than likely you will die, you will most likely start at the very beginning of that stage. And depending on how far you get, that means everything from your weapons that you picked up to some of the special items that are particular that I'll explain about in a few minutes that you attach to your suit are all lost. And you're starting from scratch. Which means that this game can be one of the most heartbreaking experiences you can have because you could be going really well, doing very well, and then just encounter that one enemy that sets you back two, three, four, maybe even five hours, depending on how much you've been playing the game, and most importantly, how much you've been grinding to try to get the best weapons, the best items, and preparation for the big bosses that will occur at the end of each grandiose stage. Now, thankfully, a majority of the enemies actually aren't that bad. They do have patterns that can be figured out and taken advantage of, but as you progress, of course, the numbers get more numerous, which means that it becomes harder, especially in the more enclosed areas. With the variety of enemies that could be flying, jumping, spewing fireballs or plasma balls or whatever they're shooting at you in nature, the running gun action of Returnal is actually very tight, very intuitive, and utilizes the haptic feedback control system of the PlayStation 5 very well. Very early in the game, you had the precision aim that allows for certain guns to do this grandiose attack that has to recharge. So you can utilize said attack to kind of clear an opening when it comes to the enemies that are mounting, and then work your way around an arena and shoot and kill the rest of them. As you're doing this, you're also building up your adrenaline meter, which allows for you to go faster, see better, and hopefully take more damage. Because when it comes to Celine, she can only take about three to four really good hits before she dies. And of course, if you die, that means you have to go all the way back to the beginning. Now, there are some player-friendly implementations to help when you do die, such as shortcuts that can be unlocked and stay unlocked even if you do die. There are teleporters that will allow you to teleport anywhere that another teleporter is. And there are actually chambers that are essentially respawn points. So if you search long enough, if you try to go through each environment with a fine tooth comb, you can find that you can avoid having to go back all the way to the beginning of a stage if you take your time and explore as best as possible. But there are times where exploration will come back to bite you because you may drop into a hole and get slaughtered by an enemy that is way too powerful for your weaponry. Speaking of weaponry, something that I mentioned a few minutes ago was that the implementations of certain items to help you survive battle include weapons. Certain enemies do drop weapons that have special abilities that have base settings that may be more efficient than the current weapon that you're holding. But Selene can only hold one gun at a time, so you will have to decide whether or not maybe sacrificing the gun that has done me so well thus far for a gun that potentially will be better in the long run can mean the difference between life and death. There are also items called parasites that attach to Selene's suit if you choose to accept it. And these parasites 
tie into the game's overall risk and reward factor because a parasite that is attached to Celine's suit will grant Celine some kind of boost but will also hinder Celine in the long run, such as making the precision aim attack charge faster, but it will do less damage. The same goes for malfunctions that are attached to the suit via malignants. These malignants have to be destroyed from the suit via artifacts that are found throughout the stages, which means once again you have to thoroughly explore if you want to get the best result possible. These malfunctions once again are risk and reward. They will add a buff, but they will also add a debuff. From a graphical and technical perspective, Returnal is a great example of what the PlayStation 5 hardware can do. The only issue, and this is one of those things that is attached to not only the game, but also the genre, that could be detrimental to anyone's playthrough, is the fact that there is no saving, there is no pausing. So if you want to step away for a little while, you will have to hope that nothing happens, that the power doesn't go out, that the game doesn't crash, or your system has an update. If any of these things happens, that means everything that you worked so hard to do will be lost because there is no technical hard save system attached to Returnal. You have to complete the biomes, which is the grandiose stages of each section, and then you can kind of get a soft save. But if you don't, you have to start at the beginning. And that is going to be the key point to me that will turn off a lot of gamers because you have to set so much time aside to try to complete a run of this game and then hope that nothing goes wrong. Because if something goes wrong, it's all said and done and you have to start at the beginning. Overall, this is a fantastic third person shooter with some sci-fi elements, an intriguing story, impressive weapon selection, and items that could be both beneficial and detrimental to your playthrough. But it also has one of those glaring issues where depending on the player, they will be turned off by the root game system that is Returnal, and that is the fact that you will have to die to figure out what is the best strategy next. And then there are times where you don't die and the game just decides it does not feel like playing anymore and crashes on you, which means that you will have to start all over again. And that could be one of those things that happens and pretty much turns a person off completely. But if you're a gamer that likes games like Dead Cells or Hades, this is going to be right up your alley. If not, I say walk away, don't even worry about it, it will not give you the satisfaction of a more story driven single player experience that I think a lot of people expected this game to be before it was announced that it was a roguelike game. So there you have it, this has been so for Lordy, James Bullock once again with another video game first impressions, Returnal, exclusively for the PlayStation 5. Now if you don't mind, I've dropped down into a hole that hopefully won't be plagued with enemies that will kill me, but if they do, I guess I will have to go back to the very beginning and start all over again while trying to understand what is really going on, and when I do, I will have no choice but to say, oh lordy.